Hello, everyone. Ready for questions? Dr. Carson, in an interview with uh, ABC last week, President Obama said he did not think ISIS was gaining strength, noting that we have contained ISIS. Do you think the President was wrong? Well, I, you know, I don't like to be super critical, but obviously uh, we can see that ISIS has quite a bit more strength than perhaps uh, he thought that he had. And that would probably be a matter of him not getting very good intelligence, I would imagine. Wait, so that, are you blaming the intelligence community for not for underestimating ISIS? I'm saying he obviously is not getting the information. You you said that your intelligence is uh, better than the White House intelligence on um, China being in Syria. Is your intelligence on ISIS better than the that president? Was, that was tongue in cheek. I certainly hope my intelligence is not better than what you did. I certainly hope that's not. There's been a renewed focus on national security in the last few days, and uh, you know a lot of people have said that's a game changer for this election in terms of you know who has national security experience. How do you think that affects your campaign, and, and what would you say to voters who just might like you but aren't sure that you have what it takes for national security experience? I would say uh, listen to what I have to say, and compare that with what other people have to say, and make a determination on that basis, not on the basis of uh, who's been you know, a career politician uh, or who claims to have a great deal of international experience. The fact of the matter is, no one has the kind of experience that is ideal to become President of the United States. That's one of the reasons that it's important to know how to surround yourself with the right kinds of people. And that's why I spend time talking to a lot of people who've been around for a long time, who have a great deal of experience, uh, to get their perspectives on things. And sometimes it changes my perspective when I hear it. Uh, but you know, if Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived, 